Hi guys, welcome back. In this video, we are going to discuss about multi-instance sub-process. If you are not aware of what is sub-process, please watch my old videos to understand what is sub-process. If you are aware, please watch this to understand what is multi-instance sub-process. Okay, uh, let me tell you quickly about sub-process as well. Okay, what is sub-process? For example, you are ha you just assume that you are having one uh, e-commerce application. Okay, similar like Amazon, you are having one application. Okay, in that application, you ha it means there is a huge process, right? So like uh, order is initiating from the client. I mean, order uh, ordering acceptance, then uh, you need to dispatch the order. Then it, it will go for a building, everything. All this come under a single process, right? So in this single process, okay, you want to mention a yeah, billing as a small sub process inside the whole process. You want to mention as a billing as a separate sub process. Okay, if you have this type of use cases, you can go for a sub process first of all. Okay, then again multi instance sub process. What it, what it means actually? Okay, for example, uh, when you are doing that sub process, maybe for example five products are there you may need to do five times that sub process just assuming that okay so like that type of situation okay you utilize that multi instance sub process you can do in parallel way or uh, sequential way any any ways you can do it out okay let me in this video we'll try to understand what is parallel way okay sequential is not much difference i will i will show you how you can do it easily okay let's draw a small diagram okay before going to understand in depth okay okay so this is a uh, start event and i have one of the user tasks then i have a one service task okay just try to understand that then if you see here here i have a column called sub process right okay let me try to draw that column what is that okay don't worry about it you don't concentrate on this okay so before trying to understand this you can click here and you can track this okay so and i can uh, match that as actually then i can end up the whole flow so now inside this you can have one user task and then you can have the end up flow okay so this is we will call it as a sub process you can you can understand that right now you are having one user task service task as the outside then inside on um, sub process you are having only one user task so what is multi instance if you just click here you can see parallel multi instance sequential multi instance and you can see couple of things like looping as well as the ad hoc okay so let's go with the parallel so parallel means whenever this task is get created right so for example i i'm just saying that i want to create three times this user task you can do that at same time parallelly okay if you want to create sequentially after completing one by one task this has to be created you can based on this selection you can do that okay now let's go with a parallel multi instance okay so if you see here after adding that you can see these three lines small lines here so if you see that sequential the lines will be changed in this way vertical way okay now let's go with the parallel okay so this is the way you can draw the diagram for parallel multi instance okay let's see small example how it will work in real time okay i already uh, draw on sample diagram okay uh, similar like this okay nothing you can see the much difference actually so parallel multi instance sub process i'm just opening that you can see okay so to um, understand this one how i draw this one right so this is nothing but simply you can drag and drop this okay so now you can see that right so similar way i draw the diagram i have a one user task then i have one service task okay so the service task is calling on testing java class i will show you what the implementation is done okay so then here i have a multi parallel multi instance okay here okay how you can make it as a parallel multi instance based on what so for example i have the list of uh, employees so for example five employees are coming i need to iterate this as five times so how i can configure that you can see that when you click here you can clearly see that multi instance one of the tab is showing right the properties panel 
just click this here the collection if you are a java developer you already aware of what is collection right you can pass any one of the collection and you, you can utilize that name that collection you need to pass as a variable okay i'll repeat again okay so when you click this sub process you will have the properties in the properties you have the multi instance where you need to configure that collection that collection is nothing but you need to pass it from the variable i will show you how i am passing okay and this is like a element so it will it will pick one by one variable okay from the list okay that's all mostly okay we'll try to understand now how reality it is working okay let me try to deploy this and i will show you okay let me run the application ah, okay before that sorry before that what is this service task we need to see that right yeah let me go to this testing class if you see this testing class nothing else actually it is small java delicate class inside that i have one list this list containing two values okay and these two values i am setting into variable as a list this is my this is my variable name the list this variable name i gonna configuring in the multi instance under multi instance tab right so this is that name only this name okay so this is a variable name nothing but okay so this is a list which will have two parameters as of now and i have i am trying to pass this two parameter in the variable and that variable i am trying to catch it here and i am iterating based on this it will iterate it the sub process will automatically it will iterate let's let's try to run this and see the output okay let me run the project let me open a cockpit as well let me try to close let me refresh it okay it may take 20 to 30 seconds okay yeah it's almost done now application is up and running i think there is small issue let's see that what is the issue okay so this is from the different bpm okay so what i will do as of now i will just remove that different bpm okay so this is the parent okay right as of now that is not required so i will fix that later okay so there is a dependency with the child so i'm just trying to remove that as well okay so i just removed that error bpmans don't worry about it that is different bpman file okay i am just removing and i'm trying to run the application again so our bpman is this one parallel multi instance sub process right let's see that okay so i think it, it's almost up and running let me yeah so tomcat starter and 80 let me go and refresh this page okay it may it will ask redirect me to login page we know okay so let me try to start a process you can see that sub process parallel multi instance okay before going there let me open the cockpit as well right so process okay so there is no process active process was started all right so let me start a process so process and let me start it now if you refresh this this is the main process you can see the name of this main process if i go and refresh you can clearly see that the task is under main process okay now let me try to complete this task claim and complete it after that you can see the sub process task was created automatically two sub process you can see that few seconds ago two sub process right it means that let me refresh here you can see that here you can see the two task how it was created because parallel multi instance that two was defined by this list right okay let me try to complete this two okay so now that's all now if i go and refresh the cockpit you can you are not seeing even one task okay now 
to increase this let's see that let me try to pass one, pass one more very uh, object i mean so one more uh, value in the list so now it should create three times let's try to understand that i i mean let's see that okay so yeah server is starting okay now i'm not changing anything in the bpmn right so it was earlier two times now i'm changing just a my array so three times i'm just three values i'm trying to pass it so it should create a three task this sub process task okay let's uh, let's refresh this page and let me try to log in again meanwhile let me open the cockpit okay it should diagram should be same okay and let me start a process okay now let me refresh this you can see one task under main process right okay so this main process task i'm trying to claim and complete it see three task was created immediately you can see that one two three if i go and refresh here you can see the three sub process task it was amazing right so nothing you done right so at runtime if you are passing three or four variables whatever it may be from your application so it is the sub process it is taking care of doing all this activity multi instance activity so this this multi instance logic even applicable for the user task okay you can do for user task as well i'm just explaining for sub process but you can directly do user task as well okay okay now let me claim this and complete it claim this and complete it claim this and complete it now let me go and refresh here there was no pending task right so hope you understood how the sub process i mean parallel multi instance sub process was working right so this is just a small configuration so you need to understand multi instance as well as i mean the parallel or uh, sequential whatever it may be if you done the sequential the ch just change the parallel to sequential right so what it will happen so let, let's see that maybe that also just change that save it let me try to deploy in runtime okay now let me go here and let me start on process okay so now you can refresh this and you can see one task oh, there is no okay so you may be go to 16 because the latest deployment you've done right so you can see one task was pending here main task i just claim and complete now you see that see only one sub process task was created if, if you go and refresh this page see only one sub process okay what will this is sequentially it is creating so after completing this task it will create another sub task i mean another uh, task let's try that okay i'm just see the left side panel clearly i'm just completed it but again it was created now if you go and refresh it okay one so this is second task so i'm just claiming and complete it now see that third was created now i'm trying to do the third one now it was the task or the process was get, it will get complete right now i'm complete it now there won't be create any task now if you go refresh also the your process will get completed right so hope you understood the difference between parallel as well as sequential multi instance sub process right feel free to add your comments in the comment section and i'll try to respond as soon as possible okay thanks guys thanks for watching bye, -bye.